Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to show you how do you put foundation on and keep it on while using a mask. So I'm gonna give you my top tips and tricks on preventing it from transferring on the mask and making it last all day. So let's get started. First thing that I like to use is Aqua Gel Luminous Moisturizer. And I love this moisturizer for wearing a mask because even though I like the Luminous Moisture Cream a lot, it does tend to transfer a bit, especially if you have oily or even combination skin. So Aqua Gel is oil free, it's gonna definitely stay put. So I'm gonna use this as a first step. I like to just warm it up into my hands and press it in all over the face and then massage it in. So really make sure that you hydrate because we're gonna use some primers. I'm gonna show you how to do a powder trick. So you wanna make sure that you're well moisturized. Take it down the neck and under your eyes. So I'm not gonna use any eye cream because I want it to stay a little bit more matte. And then let that settle in and absorb. I'm actually gonna take Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm gonna mix in the Pour and Shine Primer into the foundation. So what this does is it really helps the foundation last a lot longer. I often find if I use Pour and Shine and then put the foundation on top, it sometimes doesn't sit right. So by mixing it into the foundation, you're given even more longevity and it prevents your oil from coming on top of the foundation. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have just a little bit in the palm of my hand and then I'm gonna take Pour and Shine. So just like that and mix them together. And then I'm gonna apply it with my fingers. And what I like to do is to really get, start from the center of the face and get it where I need it. And then press it in. So almost like push it in. This is gonna really make sure that you don't have anything sitting on top of the skin, which is gonna go onto your mask. And really just push that in with the palm of your hand. So just like this, so I'm almost like pushing and rocking the palm in all those areas. And then I'll do the nose. and onto the cheeks. Now I'm taking it under my eyes because I have that pour and shine. It's gonna really sit well under the eye and you have to worry about it creasing. And then take whatever's left over and really warm it up. And we're just gonna press that in all over just to get that flawless finish. And even when you think that you have it fully pushed in, do it a little bit more. So keep warming it up and work it into the skin. It's very natural. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I'm gonna take a small blending brush so the number 42 blending brush. I'm using the color Biscuit. And I like to do small little circular motions under the eye. So I tend to use Radiant Creamy a lot for under eyes, but I find if I buff it in very lightly with a blending brush, soft matte, I get a little bit more the natural finish and it lasts much longer because it doesn't crease as much. I can take it up onto the lid just for a little bit more coverage. And you can obviously do this anywhere that you feel like you need a little bit more coverage. The nose, just because I get a little bit of redness here.
I have a little bit of lighter areas of my face on the top here around my brows. So I'm just going to use that just throughout the face where I feel like I need a little bit more. So next I'm going to use the Salt Velvet Loose Powder and I'm going to use a powder puff. But before I do that, I'm going to take the Uchiyo brush. And what I like to do is press it in everywhere where you've done your foundation, especially the lower half of your face. Now, if you, you can still have a radiant look with a mask, but I would tend to keep the radiance above the brow because anything you do in your cheeks, your highlight, anything like that, you're not gonna see. But the reason why you wanna do it is, imagine you're wearing your mask, you go on your lunch break, or you go somewhere where you take it off and you have foundation just from the top, it's not gonna look that great, right? So that's why we're doing foundation over the whole face so that you have the option of when you do take it off, you're not gonna have two tones. But I would say that it lasts much longer if you go with a little bit more of a matte look. I'm gonna take a powder puff and I'm gonna dip it into the powder, take the excess off the back of my hand, and we're just gonna really press and roll the powder in just to make sure that it's fully set. So everywhere that you know the mask is gonna to be touching, just really press that in, especially around the nose that's where it's going to hit. Back to your powder brush. So I'm using the Chio, but whatever powder brush you have. And hold the bristles really tight so it's very firm. And you want to do little circular motions and polish the skin. So what this is going to do is, imagine you use a lot of powder, you're going to have that kind of um, velvety powder finish, which can look a little heavy. So what this is going to do is just going to bring the life back into the face while still keeping it set. So I love to do this trick when I'm doing baking under the eye because it really makes sure that It's set, but very smooth. And that's it, so then you're ready for your mask. So I'm just gonna put my mask on. And I'm fully set, and I'll show you nothing on the inside. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.